A warning, viewers fi might find the details of this next story disturbing. The sexual assault trial of disgraced fashion mogul Peter Nygaard continues in Toronto. Today, the court began hearing testimony from the complainants. Nygaard has pleaded not guilty to sexually assaulting five women between the late 1980s and 2005. CBC's Stephanie Skinderis is at the courthouse. The first woman to testify in the Peter Nygaard sex assault trial said she was forced to stay in a room against her will and then raped. She testified the alleged assault happened after she'd been invited to watch a Rolling Stones concert with Nygaard at Toronto's Sky Dome in 1989. She told the court they'd first met months prior on the tarmac at a Nassau airport when she was in her late 20s. She says Nygaard told her about his properties, including in the Bahamas, and described his wealth and position in the fashion world. She testified she accepted a ride home after the flight but was instead taken to Nygaard's Toronto headquarters and given a tour that ended in his private bedroom before she was taken home. She told the court she wasn't interested romantically in Nygaard but she wanted to see the Rolling Stones. After that concert in December 1989, the woman said she was taken back to Nygaard headquarters and went upstairs for a drink. She said she was trapped in the bedroom, the door locked by a keypad she didn't know how to use. Breaking down in tears, the woman testified she was terrified. She said Nygaard grabbed her, removed her shoes and her clothes, pinned her down and assaulted her. She testified that Nygaard threw a $100 bill at her, but she said she'd pay for her own taxi. The woman said she told a security guard, you work for an abuser, and described feeling humiliation and shame afterwards. The woman is the first of five who will testify against 82-year-old Nygaard in the coming weeks. None of the allegations have been proven, and he has pleaded not guilty to five counts of sexual assault and one of forcible confinement. Stephanie Skanderis, CBC News, Toronto. Thank you for watching the CBC Manitoba YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. For the latest breaking news and top stories, download the CBC News app.